Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's a little dark. Um, it's so gloomy here in Florida, like, what is happening? Uh, where is the sun in the good old sunshine state? Anyway, I am doing a lot of things today. I have a hair in my eye. Ow. Okay, that's disrespectful. I need tweezers. So I have so much to do today. I um, bought these like posters. I had like custom posters made and uh, I'm going to put them on this wall. This empty wall right here. Finally, the photos are pretty big and uh, I was looking up frames to frame these photos because I don't want to just like put them on the wall because then it just won't be like cute, you know what I mean? And like <laughs> frames are running like 60 to $100 per frame. So I decided to do a little DIY where I'm going to go purchase some wood from Lowe's and they're gonna cut it for me in the exact dimensions that I need it. That I'm going to like spray paint it and make my own frames. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it or whatever. If you want it, but you got it. Ain't you ever seen a princess be a bad bitch? So I'm at Lowe's and I'm getting some wood and they're gonna cut it for me. He's helping me. It's gonna look so good. I'm excited. Okay. So you get 6.36 out of here and 324 and then we just use that one. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I lined my patio with some trash bags so I don't, you know, ruin the floor. And I'm gonna be choosing between these two spray paints. So I'm kind of stuck because I don't know if I want the frames to be gold or pink. The gold like spray paint, I've had that for a minute. So I don't even know how much is left in the can. And the pink one, I kind of just got it. So I know it's a full can. I don't know, we'll see. So I have the guy at Lowe's cut me six 32 inch wood planks as well as six 24 inch wood planks. I will link everything down below. Um, make sure you guys are taking off all of the stickers before you start spray painting. So one thing to keep in mind, I should have bought a sander, like some sandpaper to sand these edges, but it's okay, it's not that serious. I'm out of luck. I ran out of spray paint and <laughs> I didn't get to paint all of it. So I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm just gonna paint everything pink. So make sure you guys are wearing clothes and shoes that you don't care about. And also make sure you wear a mask or something to cover your nose and your um, mouth because the fumes are actually pretty dangerous. So this is how they're looking so far. I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna add another coat. So despite me not sanding the wood before painting, I'm actually really happy with the result and the finish. Um, as you can see, I'm just lining everything up. I'm gonna be gluing the longer pieces to the ends of the shorter pieces. Um, also, this glue actually kind of sucks. So make sure you get a higher quality glue or maybe just use some E6000. But I put a thin layer on the shorter planks and I just glued them to the longer planks. So um, you're gonna need to clamp the wood um, as it's drying. I didn't have any clamps, so I just put them against a surface and I used some textbooks to kind of like hold everything in place. Right, we got one down. All those to go. All right guys, so it's like two days later, but this is the completed 
um, project. I like the way they turned out. So these are the photos that I had printed. I had these printed from Walmart. There's that, and there's that. I don't know, I just felt like these three like really, really represented me. You know what I mean? And all of these are going to go on this wall right here. As So I started off by measuring the entire wall, then I did some math, found the halfway point. Each frame is 24 inches wide, so half of 24 is 12. So I measured 12 inches from the halfway point on both sides of that center point that I found on the wall, and that's where my center frame was going to go. So I drilled a couple of nails in the wall, and then I put my middle frame up. I also used a leveler, you know, to make sure everything was straight. Um, I used my leveler to kind of like help me gauge how far apart I was gonna put each frame. And I just put everything on the wall, put the photos behind them, and then voila. All right guys, and this is the final product. I love it so much. I just feel like, you know, all three of these photos represent me. I'm all about being super girly. I love pink. So I don't have a direct link to these photos. I actually found these like on Instagram and Google and I edited the background. Um, and then I had them sent off to Walmart to print and they sent it to my house for free They were actually pretty cheap. They were under $50 um, I'm super happy with how they turned out if you guys replicate this, please make sure you tag me on Instagram or on YouTube and make sure you guys hit that like button comment down below and Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching